All right, guys. Uh, Mark, in terms of the Big Ten this year, I, I know you say it every year, but it seems that this year yeah. the, 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 the bottom, the middle of the bottom is better. And does that make winning at home even higher for me? Yeah, I just think it's going to be hard to win every game. Um, what do we got, 12 in the top 50 in the net or something that's out? Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be – it's going to be um, – you just got to do the best you can every game, every night, and uh, know it's going to be a grind. But uh, you went through a phase where you've been everybody's biggest game. That's how now every game's hard and, and this and that. So it's about staying fresh, staying confident, believing uh, in what you're doing, and you get better as the season goes on. I think that's big. So, um, yeah, but I, I said before, I think this will be the single hardest league season that uh, I'll go through. Uh, as a player or and or as a coach to this point in my life. When you look at um, the lineup, would you be at all comfortable using a small lineup in Big Ten play, or do you feel like you guys need to get get it to the point where six is at a four and, and you've got someone else at the five? Yeah, I know. You know, we're, we're, we're a team in movement right now, um, obviously. So we're still trying to figure it out. Um, Stick's such a great kid. He just does whatever I ask him to do, and he does it with a smile on his face and never complains. He's, he's pretty special and unique. So, you know, Troll's not ready yet. Um, Troll is getting better. Troll's going to play, but he's a sh shadow of what he what he will be uh, in the future for us. So um, Stick's got to play some five. He's going to play some four with Troll. And, uh, so we're just... We're fluid. We're just trying to figure it out and get better. But uh, the key is that we try to guard well, try to rebound, and, and, and play with a little bit more confidence on offense. And it's, like I said last time we got together, it's my job to give our guys more confidence. I think, you know, hopefully we'll play that way tomorrow. Did, did, did Chol respond well health-wise to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's been another good week of practice for Chol. Uh, today he seemed a little tired in practice. Um, because yesterday was a tough day, and uh, he seemed a little bit tired. Um, so hopefully he'll get some recovery. We didn't practice him as much today, so hopefully you know, he'll get his legs back underneath him and, and, and be able to help us a little bit tomorrow. You mentioned a couple times last week at Sorrell's attitude. Yeah. Back. Did you have any conversations with him? Or no. Or was it just simply him being re-energized? No, I think it's good parenting. He's got good parents that told him to go back and work, and Sorrell's worked his whole life. And um, I told him after the first practice, I love your attitude and I appreciate it. And, um, you know, a lot of guys wouldn't have got back on the plane. He got back on the plane and came back with a great attitude. So um, I know his mom and dad are constantly talking to him. They're competitors. He's a competitor. He's been really good in practice. So, you know, he'll be our fifth guard uh, tomorrow. And he's got experience. He's played in these games before. So, um he can do a lot of things well, and he can score. And we've sh struggled scoring the ball. And, and, you know, over Christmas break, I just told myself that, you know, if we can get Sorrell going a little bit, you know, there's some games he can get double figures for us. So, um, you know, he might not do it tomorrow night, but there'll be a game out there he does. So uh, we just need to get him going. Has it, has it been a little perplexing that he hasn't gotten going, or has it simply been a matter of minutes there and not maybe having as much <laughs> – Opportunity, well, given the, num the numbers that you have. Yeah, there's a lot of things that come into play. And I don't want to get into all that. But sometimes you just have to get back to hit the, 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 the hit the switch of to reality and the way it should be and the way things are going to be and just lock in and just be a part of something great, Maryland basketball. And I think that's kind of what he's done. He loves his teammates. His teammates love him. He knows we're off to a good start. We have a chance to have a good year. And, um, and uh he wants to be a part of it. He wants to be a bigger part than he was before Christmas. So he will be. He played well against Bryant, and uh, you know he'll get in there early tomorrow, and and hopefully he'll help us play. Earlier in the season, you talked about having more depth to show different, you know, yeah. de defensive looks. Is that something that you see continuing yeah. into you know big time play? No, we haven't seen as much the past couple weeks. Yeah, um, we'll see. Um, uh, you know, we're still we're still trying to build the the right depth. Um, yeah, you know, we just went through it with our post players, obviously. So things really changed there uh, with our depth. And, um, you know, I'm trying to get Sorrell to be that guy um, as our fifth guard. So um, changing defenses, yeah, we, they're still in there. Um, and we practice them. 
Uh, every game's different. We might use two defenses against Indiana or three, you know, or you know how we're going to guard ball screens or whatever. Um, and it might be totally different the next game. So we have a lot of defense. There's subtle changes you guys probably don't even recognize uh, on the defensive end that we do that coaches do and obviously teams will play and do. Mark, to the point of the front court depth, uh, Indiana's a team that's one of the best Ooh. in the nation in yeah. offensive rebound, and they, yeah. they draw a lot of fouls and get yeah. to the line a lot. Is that a concern as you continue to work out the, the new front court rotation? Yeah, it's a concern, but, you know, Sticks has uh, some, some good experience in there. Ricky Lindo uh, has some good experience. You know, a game like tomorrow, Josh Tomaich might have to play a few minutes for us. Um, he's been practicing really well. Um, so he's got experience uh, there. Troll's just big, you know, and long, and he can just use his length and hopefully play without fouling. But no, you know, then I got to play Smith at the three, and he's a tough matchup. Daryl's going to have to compete or Wiggs or whoever. So, yeah, I mean, we've, we've got a couple of days of trying to get ready for them and, and what they do. And, and um, they're big and strong, and they're smart, and they shot fake, and they do a lot of creative things down there. So, uh you know, hopefully our post players will be ready to, you know, take on a challenge tomorrow. And just as a follow up to that, um, I know their leading scorer is the freshman Trace Jackson Davis. Yeah, well, is he good? Yeah, he's. I'm curious of your thoughts on him, but then also their second leading scorer, Devontae Green, is someone yeah. that you recruited. Yeah, um, yeah. Here and just wondering what you've seen from him since high school and the type of player he's grown into. Yeah, first uh, Trace Jackson um, makes scoring look easy. Um, which it's not, um, especially at this level. We can play five against three and get double teamed and all kinds of different things. He makes it look real easy. Um, he's really talented. So he's a, he's a challenge for us, um, obviously. Um, he's long, rebounds well, and yeah, he's, he's terrific. Uh, Green's having a really good year for them. He makes a lot of – things aren't going well. He can make tough shots for him. Uh, really good athlete. And he played well in this building last year, especially early in the game. I think he hit a couple threes. So – He's a good player. They got they got really good players across the board. He's they got eleven guys that are playing their rotation. That's hard to do at this level. And it means he's got eleven players that he believes in. A year ago, uh, you guys were a very similar position and reeled off like six or seven Did we? Big Ten wins. In yeah. A row. Um, what, what does that take to sort of get out of a funk or get out of a you know in terms of not playing up to potential? Yeah. And and did, and and how does this team? Experience even maybe better shape. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think the league's tougher. Um, I think our schedule is a little tougher than it was last year at this time of year, um, obviously. Um, you know, we have played a top 10 schedule at this point, and we're 11 and 2. So we've done what we've had to do. We had a we didn't play well at Seton Hall, but they were terrific defensively. Penn State's pretty darn good, guys, in their building. So, um, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to win. So, um, I do think we've practiced well. I do. Th I can see guys getting more confidence in practice. It's going to carry over tomorrow. We'll see. But um, we're capable. Um, I, I just think this is a team with Chol as the year goes on and guys get more confident that we could, you know, uh, you know, be a pretty good team in mid February. We haven't. Have we not played our best basketball? You can say that. Maybe in the first halves. We've made good adjustments. The guys have adjusted. We've won second halves for the most part. Um, there's a whole new animal getting into this league. So I just want to play better. That's what, basically what you're asking. I'm saying that I want to coach better. I want to coach, give them more confidence. And I want our guys to, to, to believe in what we're, you know, trying to accomplish as a team, which we do. It's just all coming together at some point. What did you think? Last one. What did you think of the minutes that you had Cole and Jalen yeah. in together? Being able to have them on the court together. Yeah, I think that's going to, as the season goes on, that'll happen more. Um, we practiced it more. So I moved Chol with the top seven guys this week so we could practice with sticks more. So we've done it more. How much we're going to do it tomorrow, I don't know. Um, you know, we'll see. But that's something we'll do down the road. Because sticks can get out there and guard people. He's proven that. He proved it last year. And sticks is a much better defender. Sticks have been unbelievable defensively for us. Um, and so he's proven that. And then Chol, when he gets in shape and gets better, gives us great rim protection, gives us great length. And then we can do some things different offensively that I think uh, can help us down the road too. Thanks.